Paying attention to your mental and emotional clutter during the holidays. Oh, the holidays can be rough sometimes. Um, it can trigger a lot of memories. It can trigger a lot of emotional and mental things from our past, which can cause us to overshop, overeat, overindulge in things that we know our bodies really just don't resonate with. So before you go into any holiday situation, before you cross over that Black Friday threshold, before you go into any meal with family, give yourself permission to take that once over. Ask yourself, how am I feeling today? How am I thinking? Like, do I feel extra sensitive to today? I can't talk. <laughs> do I feel extra emotional? And allow yourself to recognize that as humans, we go through these cycles, just like our, you know, like um, monthly hormone cycles. We go through these cycles during the holidays where we feel fine and then we're a hot mess and then we feel fine and then we're a hot mess and recognizing that that is normal and expect it. Both of my parents are gone. And so during the holidays, I'll be fine one time and then all of a sudden, a couple hours later, I'm just a hot mess. And I know this about myself during the holidays. I know that the fall and the winter are those times where I just need to give myself some grace, have patience with myself, and recognize when I'm feeling emotional and when I'm not. When I am feeling emotional and I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling frustrated or whatever other feeling it is, I honor it, I recognize it, and then I tell my partner or I tell the people that I'm with, you know, I'm feeling a little bit sad today because I miss my dad or I saw something today and it reminded me of my mom and just admit it. I mean, we're all human and we all have these things that ebb and flow during the holidays and when you share it, chances are somebody else is probably feeling something really similar. Now, when we think that we're going through something just by ourselves, it makes us feel isolated. And isolation behaviors will pull back, will eat to excess, will shop to excess, will do other things to excess to try to numb out what we're feeling. So when you give yourself permission to just admit what you're feeling, you're gonna be really surprised and hopefully pleasantly surprised um, with how many people are also feeling the same ebb and flow of emotion and energy and recognize that this is body clutter when we hold it back. But when you can give yourself permission to air it out and share it, that's one way of helping it clear. I hope this serves you. I hope this helps you like and follow for more.